Hello and welcome to Will Watchers. This is Vinland Saga, Season 1, Episode 22. So it seems like we're getting another duel between Thorfinn and Askeladd, but Knut is kind of in charge of this duel and he says you have to stop when I say stop. So I feel like we might not have Thorfinn kill Askeladd here because Askeladd is too valuable for Knut to lose, really. But it could be the case that, of course, Thorfinn just doesn't listen to that at all. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about this duel because, you know, it's towards the end of the season, but what will happen after this if Thorfinn does actually win? I'm, I'm not quite sure here. Um, it is very interesting just to see how this will play out if we'll get another fourth in loss here i'm not really sure so before we jump into this be sure to check out the patreon page over there you can find one week early access so you can get episode 23 and 24 right now you can also find polls so you can vote for what's next and you can find a full length timer based version of this where you just sync up your own footage and you can watch along with me so yeah let's just jump right in Oh, the fallen tree next to the single tree. Is that supposed to be Bjorn? Yeah, I love the lack of sound there. Just the blades hitting each other and the music piano in the background. That music is so good. Yeah, I noticed this like little effect around his shoulders there. I wonder what that was. I feel like we've seen that effect before though. It's almost like this ghostly effect, like an after image, but it doesn't move that quick. Lone Wolf. Is this about Askeladd then? Oh, okay, that was sweat. I thought it might mean tears from someone. So the fight's already started. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, he does not seen much of Askeladd though. <laughs> yeah. Strategy as well. That's got to be a disadvantage having the blade like that attached to his arm. Hmm. Oh, okay, he's just going bare hands. That's insulting him even more. Yeah, because he is so filled with rage. Mm, yeah. Didn't even need to use his blade, wow. He wouldn't have actually done that, would he? Yeah, yeah. Just to show that he could if he wanted to. Sonata no Katsuda. Ah, yeah, it was quite a mundane fight in the end, actually. He needs to have a clear head when he does it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's just getting destroyed. Yeah, he's getting 
Okay. Backstory on how he killed his father. There's definitely some parallels between child um, Ascalad and Thorfinn, you know. We see the visual similarity. And Helga's sick now. Yeah. Ashclad. Is Olaf his dad? Oh wow! Yeah, you can see he looks like Ascalad a bit, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. It was the hope of like their version of um, Vinland, wasn't it? No, when it aged or died either. And look at the contrast in the darkness here. Yeah, he's obviously stopped believing in that. There is no saviour. Yeah, yeah, but it almost sounds like heaven what they're describing as well, though. Oh, she's just completely lost it. Okay. <laughs> just killed her right then and there for touching him. Yeah, yeah. He can't truly exist. You must take up arms yourself. Oh, yeah, she did it before he could get the Kiwin. Yeah, he was always. Born a natural. Oh, look at this, the foreground. That's great. <laughs> Is he kind of impressed by that, maybe, though? Mm, doesn't even know. Yeah, I was thinking because we had that scene of him taking his mother to other people, you know? When did that happen if the mother died there? <laughs> See, he actually almost got along kind of the opposite of Thorfinn. You know, is this person you hate helping you train, but there was a bit of camaraderie there. <laughs> What's happening to the mama in all of this time, though? Hmm, yeah. So he's planning that all along. But Falkman has always made it known that he wants to kill Ascalad. Oh, framed it. He's always hated them from the start. Still hasn't learnt the thing. Yeah, completely used him this whole time. Can't and see he's actually been and yeah, Thorfinn doesn't know that it was actually Floki behind everything, you know? <laughs> he 
Yeah, Ascalette's hair was looking a bit grey here. I'm wondering, like, what if he just dies of old age or he never actually gets that chance? Okay, so that was Vinland Saga, episode 22. So that duel there was just really quick, you know. Um, Vorvin, he hasn't learned a thing this entire time, this whole, like, 10, 11 years. And Askeladd just throws his sword away. I was thinking, I was wondering what Askeladd was doing there, if he was, like, throwing his sword away and just going to, like, let him take a swing at him, which he kind of was doing, but then just fought him off with his bare hands, proving that Thorfinn, he's just so consumed by the rage, he can't think when he's fighting against Askeladd in the same way he can in other battles. I feel like, you know, here, he could have easily just thrown his dagger and that would have actually got a hit on him, but he just isn't in that mental state, is he? Being so consumed by rage. And then we do also see, you know, um, Askeladd is teaching him how to actually kill someone you hate. And he had got close and then killed his father in his sleep. But that is kind of like Thorfinn. He doesn't want to do that. He wants to do it in a way that is more honourable, that rule of respect for him doing that. You know, we saw that he did attempt to do that at one point, but never actually did because he knew that wasn't the way a true warrior would actually do it. So I can res still respect him for, you know, not taking the coward's way out, I guess. But when it is someone you, like, truly hate like that, I don't know. <laughs> it's just like, Thorfinn and Askeladd, when they were kids, killing the person or attempting to kill the person that they hated, they didn't have, like, the same standards, I guess. Askeladd never had the force to kind of teach him that, but... It's weird, you know, seeing where they've ended up. Thorfinn did have this great father and instill this message in him of you have no um, enemies, but, you know, Thorfinn, he just hasn't really absorbed that and listened to that, has he? But it feels like maybe potentially here at the end of this episode, he is finally coming to that realisation, realising how much time he has wasted, you know, him looking back the last 11 years, he's just been filled with hatred. And I think it could also be the case where, you know, as I said, he is so filled with hate, he hates Askeladd more than anyone in the world, but all of his actions have actually been helping Askeladd this entire time, you know? What has he actually achieved to bring Askeladd down? Nothing, if anything, he's just helped him even more. And of course, you know, he's helped Askeladd survive some situations where he could have possibly died otherwise because he wants to protect him so he can get that kill in. And then we see Askeladd. His hair was looking a bit grey this episode. I'm just like... What if Askeladd doesn't die to Thorfinn's blade? Either Thorfinn comes to this realisation and is at peace and lets Askeladd go, or Askeladd just dies before Thorfinn gets the opportunity, you know? That would be devastating for Thorfinn, not getting that chance to actually kill the man he hates, and just, like, old age getting to him. That would be, like, really tragic on his part, you know? So then a lot of this episode was this backstory for Askeladd. You know, we had seen glimpses of it before, him carrying his mother um, on his back, you know. That's why when um, his dad was about to kill the mum, I was like, wait a sec, where in the timeline does that take place where he, like, escapes with his mother? And that's obviously after he kills the dad. 
But then, you know, he still could have stayed there because he had this camaraderie with the brothers still, you know. They could have helped him and then nursed the mum back to health. But I don't know. I don't know if we'll get any more of that backstory, what fills in that gap in between or not. But yeah, we already knew about the mum and her ill health and her obsession with Avalon. It was where Atreus is and he is supposed to be the saviour who will come and return and like deliver them to Avalon. But it never really happens of course it's just what she believes in and what gives her hope and it probably is a good thing that she has this ideology she has something to keep her going to continue to give her hope because if she didn't maybe she would have died long ago but then we see you know the first time Askeled wields a blade he's so good at it He's definitely, you know, he's definitely his um, dad's son. He just looks identical and has that skill, that intuition off the bat. Um, I was wondering if he would actually get the kill right then and there. Like, you know, Olaf, he's much larger, so he's not used to fighting someone down low like that. He could have thrown him off and Askeladd actually got the kill then and there. But he took, played the long game, just like Thorfinn is attempting to do and failing to do. Askeladd, he kind of knew what to do, attack in the sleep, build the trust. And that's kind of what Thorfinn hasn't done. And, you know, there was a bit where I was thinking, oh, has he, like, lost himself in this camaraderie with his dad and brothers? And then maybe something will happen to the mum and he'll snap back out of it. But no, he was secretly plotting all along of course Askeladd the mastermind he's always plotting and he framed it on one of the upper brothers using the sword that's another master stroke by him that was really cool um and then yeah like I do wonder what happens in between did he stay with the other brothers for a little bit or did he um you know just run a run away pretty soon after but you can 100 percent see how it mirrors Thorfinn's journey there I mean just visual similarity that I'd pointed out ages ago right before when we first see that flashback without any context and yeah it's just so similar there's so many parallels you can draw there and it's just these slight differences in their paths that have led them to be these two different types of men but hopefully maybe something's getting through to Thorfinn now and he can grow and develop maybe in the future he'll become more like Askeladd maybe not completely like Askeladd um but like if he starts to hate warriors as well you know that's a complete turn from where he is at the moment where he is just so focused on revenge you know so this was a really great episode i hope you enjoyed this if you did consider leaving a like or a comment and if you really loved it be sure to subscribe so you can keep up to date on all the future episodes see ya thanks for watching bye